Hey guys, it's Alex from QNX showing off our latest concept vehicle, um, this Mercedes CLA 45. Um, we've really taken the QNX car platform to the next level. Um, we really wanted to try and design a multimodal interface here, so an interface that is usable through both touch um, and through physical controls. Um, we also really wanted to try to put an emphasis on how connectivity can improve the infotainment experience um, and augment a lot of the features that are already available today in production vehicles. Um, for example, using Nokia here's navigation application, um, I can navigate this beautiful 3D view of downtown Barcelona, um, and that's all based on onboard content. So we haven't used that LTE connectivity yet. But if I were to try to zoom into a location that I might want to go to, um, it will go to the internet and pull this real-time image um, from Nokia's data, online hosted database. We can also pull things like live parking information, tra traffic information, and restaurant reviews. One important feature as part of automotive infotainment systems are media. So our platform supports a variety of different um, of different media sources, such as onboard media, USB, AVRCP over Bluetooth. Um, but the one I'm most excited about is SoundCloud. So SoundCloud is an open source based um, music streaming service, um, and you're able to totally navigate your library through the native interface. Um, that we've built here, um, and even play some of the some of the content. Um, now, there's another kind of mode of input here, um, and that's voice, which is extremely important in automotive. Um, we've integrated our platform with Nuance's Vocon recognizer, and um, we're able to do things like play Bobo's Groove. And as you can see, um, it instantly recognized my command and started playing the media. Um, now, what else is what's interesting about working with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 602A is we're able to not only drive the infotainment screen but the cluster display. Um, so the cluster display is showing the media information. Um, it also has a front and rear view camera and live weather. Our framework supports a bunch of different um, kind of standard features expected for an infotainment system like Bluetooth connectivity and car diagnostics. But what's really cool about the car diagnostics is we've actually built a mobile application which will allow you to access a lot of this data. And this is all through our productized cloud service. And um, let me just navigate to that website quickly. You'll see that all this information is available over the internet. Um, from anywhere in the world. Um, we can also control some of the functions of the car, like the windows and the lights, um, and even the media. So I can start that song once again. All from my phone. Now, as part of the platform, we do support a bunch of different runtimes. Um, for example, this is iHeartRadio's APK application. Um, so that's running right on top of the QNX operating system in its own isolated view. Um, and it performs quite well, um, usually. Um, but it looks like we might have a little problem with the network. But as you can see, the UI is quite responsive. And the transitions are all very smooth. Um, we also support HTML5 applications, so this is Event Seeker, just um, an application to discover events nearby. Um, but you can see it loaded quickly, and our platform allows it for the functionality of resizing and placing this application where we want it on the screen, really giving OEMs and integrators the freedom to develop the interfaces that they want. Um, one other really cool technology we're demonstrating here at MWC is Miralink. So Miralink is a technology that lets the smartphone um, display a set of applications that have been specifically targeted for automotive. Um, in this case, we have Google Navigation running on my Sony Xperia, um, but shown on the head unit. And you can interact with it fully through the head unit touchscreen. So you can see as I move around and zoom in and zoom out, my commands are instantly relayed on the phone. Um, this is just a way of bringing the mobile experience into the car in a safe and responsible way. Well, thanks guys. I was really happy I was able to show you guys around the car. 